<laughs> well, <laughs> you know, somebody might be perfect. Someone I don't might. know who she is, though. I don't either. <laughs> and I don't want to meet I her. I don't either. No. <laughs> no. Oh, gosh. Okay, so I wanted to show you these. These are called the kefir. Love them. Um, and you have these. I have these. Yes. I have them in black. Okay. I, w I like them in green. I love them in this green, this I mint like green. I too. So there's the mint green. There's the black. In the center, we call that auburn. Look at this okay. auburn. Look at how pretty that is. Is. Look at how warm that is. I love too. that auburn color. Oh my god. That gosh. is a uh, southwestern design to me. Yeah. Especially, well, you have the medallion in the front, but yeah. this with the embossed uh, kind of woven leather, just real southwestern. If you wear a lot of Very turquoise cool. and. Very um, cool. Yeah, things like that. I think yeah. that's a that's a good color choice. And, and then, then the white, white, the soft white. Remember, not optic white for me. It looks white white in yeah. my in my monitor, but it mm -hmm. is a soft white. Yeah. Very pretty white. If it, you know, a good white sandal for summer is hard to find. Yeah. This is a very very pretty pretty sandal, and uh, especially in that white color. And since right. you're right there, I want to show you. Do you see how the stitching is on the outside mm -hmm. of that one? Yeah. I'll turn it so you can see that. That is done for a reason, so that it doesn't rub up against the inside of your skin. That's just done for comfort. It does have the toe loop there. There's all the memory foam from the top to the bottom, Gosh, as we were mentioning. Look at how look juicy at and cushiony that is. I love these shoes. Now, here's my pure soul story. Okay. Betty had hers. Okay. I have mine. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then there's the um, arch support. Yeah. See that? Yeah. And that's also done in leather. And this is the suede bottom. So again, it's going to help wick moisture and be really comfortable. Okay. I went to uh, Paris, France Ooh, a month ago. Nice. Yes. And I s only, we can only take one suitcase. So mm -hmm. I said, well, I'm going to take my pure soles and my running shoes because I was running the um, marathon over there. Nice. So uh, there oh, is my mom and guys. myself. The, the cobblestone streets of Paris. I have on the kefir in black. Uh -huh. My mom is wearing the Joni. Now those can be found on hsn.com or we have the Jana that we showed you, I think in the four o'clock hour. They're uh -huh. very, very similar. Very, okay. very similar. Okay. But she brought her, her pure soles. My daughter brought hers. She's just not in the picture. Okay. She's yeah. taking the picture. She, she's taking the picture. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm wearing my kefirs. This was two days after the marathon. And oh my gosh. if you've ever run I don't, a mile fun run yeah. or a full marathon, you know that when the race is over, the last thing you want to do is put on a shoe. Yeah. When you walk, your toes go up. Yeah. Where your toe is going to hit the top of the shoe. Mm -hmm. I couldn't imagine putting on anything except for my kefir sandal. Oh my god. I gosh. couldn't imagine. And I wore these to Versailles. I wore them <gasps> all over the, the rough streets of wow. Pierce where the the um you know, the, the roads are uneven. They're yeah. not just even, smooth pavement that we have over here with all of our new roads. They're unique and fun and cobblestone and uneven. So yeah. I needed a shoe that was going to be comfortable. I needed a shoe that was I wasn't going to slip on and it has that mm -hmm. non-skid bottom. Yeah. I needed a shoe with memory foam because the day before I had run for hours and hours. <laughs> Don't look at my time. 26 miles. 26. 26. 2. <laughs> the point two is the hardest. I'm, I'm going to tell you. I was like crawling part. at the end. But... Well, the very next day, uh, that was the third day into Paris I ran. After that, uh, I still had four days there, and I did nothing but wear oh my, my pure soul sandals. Talk up Now, that's a testimonial that, to and that's comfort. The, that's the truth, and yes. I was so... I just took them because I wanted to wear them through Paris, and I wanted to tell everyone my story. Yeah. But... <laughs> If you want to know. Okay. I wanted to share my story. I had no idea yeah. that my foot wouldn't fit in anything else. Oh, my god. They were gosh. swollen. They were sore. They were tender. Yeah. And the kefir, not only were they stylish and adorable, but my feet were so comfortable in them. How amazing. I love. And, and don't, aren't you glad that you had them? I'm aren't so yeah. happy. That you had something that you could reach for in yeah. your time of need, in your feet's <laughs> time of need, and but, it worked for you. And it wasn't just, okay, yes, it was comfort. A billion percent it was comfort however in Paris they're very fashionable over there yeah I didn't want to wear a comfortable ugly shoe that's right. embarrassing I'm right. in Paris yeah because then the it screams tourist I, <laughs> hello should I put my camera around my neck right <laughs> But with this, you had a beautiful shoe. It was um, gorgeous. I took the black. Good. I could have taken every color, but again, I yeah. was only allowed one suitcase. Okay. And so my mom took hers. I took mine. My daughter Gosh. took. She had the gladiators. And think about that. That's three generations. That's what I'm saying. And a pure teenager, soul. A, a, a me, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and a mama. Yeah. <laughs> who's a grandmama? And we're not going to. We stop at the teenage age. But right. all 
all the ages. We all had our pure souls. My daughter had her gladiators. I had my kefir, and my mother had her Joni shoes, and we kind of actually mixed up a little bit. But oh, wow. she was so comfortable. And there was a picture that yeah. I wanted to bring, and I, I just didn't. But it, have you ever taken a picture by accident? Your camera just goes off. Yeah. Okay, it was taken under the table at dinner, oh, and wow. she's wearing her Joni shoes. Oh, that's so funny. However... If you look at the back of her feet, they were covered yeah. in Band-Aids from the days before. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So why do you think she put her pure soles on? Because she was comfortable in yes. them. Yes. Because they're open. I thought it was yes. the best picture. It was a little weird to put on air. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. under the table, odd, blurry picture with my mom's feet covered right. in Band-Aids. Well, but we would understand, though. Yes. Because, we, because we've all been there. We've all had those shoes that didn't work for us. Mm -hmm. Or you may have bought them specifically for that occasion. And then you're thinking, oh my gosh, these are the worst things ever. Are, you don't need band-aids with these shoes. No, no. no band-aids, just the shoe. They're so comfortable. These are super cute. And cute. And we've got them in mint green, the only mint green that you've yes. seen today. We have black. Mm -hmm. We've got the brown one is called right. Auburn. And then we have them in white. And just like Betty, who just called us a little bit ago from Indiana, she was saying she needs shoes that don't have anything on the heel because it's hard for her to bend down and, and address that.